Okay, so this one says, add curved arrows to the following polar reaction to indicate the flow of electrons. And that's the flow of electrons in each step. Okay, so the way I like to do these is, I like to put lone pair electrons wherever there's lone pair electrons. That really helps me. So when you do that, then you can see where are the nucleophiles, where are the electrophiles, where are the acids, where are the bases. So, remember also that uh, reactions oftentimes have more than one arrow. Okay? A polar arrow, remember, is a double-headed arrow as opposed to a fissured arrow. Okay? So, if we look here, what is this? Strong acid, strong base, something? Strong acid. So we're going to be looking over here for a base. Okay? Remember, bases have lone pair electrons. Okay. And it kind of helps you out to tell, to tell you over here, well, the hydrogen is going to be added to that oxygen. Okay, so what's going to happen? Remember, the arrow goes towards the atom that it's going to grab. Okay, so a lot of people like to point the arrows backwards. Don't do that. Okay, so what's going to happen is that arrow is going to go grab that hydrogen there, just like that. And then, of course, hydrogen can't make two bonds, so you're going to have to break the hydrogen chlorine bond. Okay. Like that. Does that make sense? Did you get that one? All right. Did you get that? Okay, so since we did that, we see over here, okay, we've got everything except for the chlor chloride anion. Okay, so I'm going to put that over here. With its long pairs, like that. And look where it's where it's ending up. You see the chloride ion is ending up attached to this structure here. Okay? It's attached in the, if you want to count this as one, two, three position. Okay? So we just go one, two, three, like that. That's where the chlorine's gonna hit. Okay? And also notice that carbon. That carbon there is not attached to that oxygen anymore, so we got to break that off too. Okay, so there's two arrows here. Do you got them, Alan? Okay. So tell me if you got these ones. That's the first arrow. Did you get that one? Okay. And then again, I like to put my one pair. And that's the second. Arrow. Okay. And again, if you drew this one over there, that's fine. Okay. Was that going to be your question? Okay, does that answer your question? Okay. Are there any more questions on this particular one? Okay, wonderful.